Good morning guys. Yesterday's lecture we have seen the advantages of the geometric progression ratio. Okay. What is the importance of the geometric progression ratio? How to select the geometric progression ratio? Then how to write the structural formula, structure diagram, ray diagram and speed chart. Okay, also we have seen the if you have given the problem statement, then how to solve that problem with the help of given sequence. First you have to find out the structural formula, then structure diagram, then ray diagram, then speed diagram, it is also called as a speed chart and gearing diagram how to draw each and every diagram with the help of given data yesterday's lecture we have seen okay today we will going on the next bit the important parameters in kinematic diagram it is also called as a gearing diagram which important parameters are required to draw the kinematic diagram or gearing diagram before going on kinematic diagram, you know it is the maximum spindle speed. Okay, this data will give one. Okay, N max or it is also called as a NZ. This value is given in RPM. Maximum spindle speed or NZ. NZ is the total number of spindle speed steps. NZ. Uh, sorry, maximum spindle speed. Then N minimum minimum spindle speed minimum spindle speed it is denoted by the n1 okay z is the total number of speed steps n is equal to number of stages capital n and n is the electric motor speed this is also given in rpm now to write the structure formula first yesterday's lecture we have seen z is equal to or total number of speed steps is equal to P1 X1 P2 X2 P3 X3 What is the P1 again? Total number of speed steps in the first stage P2 total number of speed steps in the second stage And P3 is the total number of speed steps in the third stage Ok X1 is the characteristics value You will get the X1 always 1 Ok X2 is equal to P1 X3 is equal to P1 P2 remember this thing then how to calculate the number of stages and n factorial total x combination you will get the different combination for x1 x2 x3 and p1 p2 p3 both okay this is the n factorial then we will see the structural formula z is equal to p1 x1 p2 x2 up to the pu xu this is the structural formula p is the speed steps or pair in n stages pair in n stages or x is the characteristics in stage yesterday i have explained this okay then next see four speed gearbox you have given z is equal to what four 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 speed gearbox is given then how to calculate the z is equal to how to break this p1 and p2 2 into 2 you will get the 4 this condition will satisfy p is either 2 or 3 ok if you have taken 2 into 3 you will get the 6 z value will required 4 that's why we will write here 2 into 2 2 into 2 then what is the value of p1 and p2 2 ok stages how many stages there are 2 stages because of p1 x1 this is the first stage second stage p2 x2 this is the second stage what is the combination of the p there are two combinations okay two two combinations and x combination n factorial means one into two two factorial means you will get the again two x1 x2 and x2 x1 we can write then how to write the structural formula we have seen already uh, structural formula sf is equal to two sf1 is equal to c i will write z is equal to 2x1 2x2 what is the value of x1 x 
what is the value of x2 p1 p1 is equal to again 2 okay and what is the second structural formula z is equal to 2 x2 i have changing the position of x1 and x2 x1 and x2 and see here 2 x2 2 x1 then you will get the new formula 2 2 2 1 if you are changing the position p1 and p2 you will get the same answer because of p1 and p2 value are same p1 and p2 value are same okay here some rules i have written x1 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to p1 remember that associated with x1 always this uh, x1 is associated with p1 that's why p1 rule to select the best sf structural formula x should be in ascending order ascending order means what x1 is less than x2 is less than x3 remember that rule again there is one more rule uh, the factor of z must be uh, x1 x2 okay means it is the multiplication of that z should be an integer number integer number okay sf1 and sf3 are the best structural formula then we will take the six speed gearbox example for the structural formula say p1 is equal to 3 again p2 is equal to 2 okay or you can write 2 into 3 you will get the six again number of stages 2 you will get the how many combinations there are four combinations n factorial 2 uh, combinations of x x1 x2 x2 x1 but again here you will get the some combination for p1 p2 p1 p2 and p2 p3 if you have uh, p2 p1 if you are changing the position of p1 and p2 then again you will get the 3 2 and 2 3 with the help of that again you can write the structural formula for similar structural formula i have written here z is equal to 9 z is equal to 8 and z is equal to 12 okay then next we will going on the structural diagram the structural formula are represented by the special graph called as a structure structural diagram okay this is the german layout okay first draw the z number of the horizontal line yesterday i have explained draw the z number of horizontal lines hl is the total speed horizontal lines draw the z number if z is equal to 4 then you should draw the 4 horizontal lines draw n plus 1 number of vertical lines means how many shafts each line uh, represent the shaft okay n plus 1 number of stages if you have given two stages then draw the three vertical line and each vertical line represent the shaft okay distance between that uh, two vertical uh, sorry horizontal line is log 10 phi log 10 phi okay equal to phi the distance between in that two horizontal line is log 10 phi is there okay and using the structural formula you should draw the as the diagram structural diagram see the formula 2 1 2 2 2 1 2 2 how to draw there are two transmission line two transmission line okay in the red color we are start from the center there are two transmission line and gap is one in between that two line gap is one again from first shaft to the second intermediate shaft you will get the two different speed one is the maximum and one is the minimum from second to third you will get the four different speed from the first point see from the first point there is a two two gap is two one and two okay then similar way see i have given some uh, structural formulae with the help of that structural formulae you have to try to uh, draw the structure diagram okay structure diagram for the different <laughs> then see how to calculate the summation of node okay if you are getting uh, example in the examination sometimes you have to calculate the summation of node okay at that time how to calculate that summation of node see here one example is given structural diagram z is equal to 6 then you should draw the 6 horizontal line and uh, vertical line uh, there are two stages 2 into 3 right or 3 into 2 you will get the 6 then two stages 
uh, you should draw the three vertical lines for shaft uh, input shaft intermediate shaft and output shaft okay then see how to draw the there is a first formula 3 1 2 3 there are two formulas 3 1 2 3 see first you start from the center there are three lines and gap is one in between each line okay from the center to up, uh, upward direction left to right side and left to right side in downward direction both from the shaft 1 to shaft 2 there is a gap 1 in between that uh, red line okay in the first stage and second stage 2 3 is there there is a two lines only two lines and gap is three in between that three lines uh, sorry two lines okay then check six five four three in between that gap is three i have shown in blue line okay this line uh, transmission line should be touched at the end one and six then your formula is correct otherwise your formula is wrong okay then we want to the find out the best solution see how to calculate that best solution with the help of known number okay this both condition are satisfied check that uh, x1 uh, x is in ascending order means x1 is less than x2 1 is less than 3 in bracket i have written p1 x1 right p1 x1 means what p1 is 3 and x1 is 1 p2 x2 okay p2 is 2 and x2 is equal to 3 right then check that 1 is less than 3 this condition is satisfied again second condition 1 is less than 2 1 is less than 2 this condition also satisfy 1 is less than 2 okay then how to use the node method see first I have uh, mark the circle okay on the first shaft okay see that uh, circle where is this circle okay then second second shaft again where is this circle and uh, third shaft where is this circle the summation of this uh, three you will get the seven see here is a one is there one one plus two point five three point five three point five plus on the first shaft again three point five you will get the summation of node for the first figure is seven and for the second figure this summation of node you will get the 7.5 how to get this again one then on the second shaft see for the second shaft we have the three value three value one plus three four four plus three point five you will get the seven point five maximum node addition is seven point five p of stage one should be less okay then you should choose the optimum one optimum which is the optimum one this is the two one three two three one uh, uh sorry two one three two okay summation of maximum node addition okay then again similar way uh, choose the uh, i have given some example z is equal to eight is there z is equal to eight is there okay then see z is equal to nine then see here i have given some structural formulae with the help of that structural form formulae you have to practice to draw the structure diagram also find out the uh, find out the uh, summation of node summation of node here is the z is equal to 12 is given okay then z is equal to speed gearbox see structural formulae i have written for the 4 6 8 12 9 and 12 sometimes you will ask uh, 9 or maximum times you will ask the 8 9 or 12 in the examination then there is a uh, some transmission restriction already you have seen in the uh, we have seen uh, the lectures okay there are uh, teeth are given minimum uh, and input is given and p value is given 2 okay then you have to calculate the ig stage what is the ig stage it is the ratio of i max to i minimum max to i minimum okay ig stage you have to calculate it is the ratio of i max to i minimum 
then what is the value of i max maximum increase the speed in transmission group i max how to calculate this n2 divided by n input n input is less than or equal to 2 remember that then maximum reduction in speed in transmission group i minimum what is the i minimum value n1 is less than uh, sorry n1 uh, divided by n input okay is greater than or equal to 0 0.25 and this value transmission range for the transmission group is i max divided by i minimum is equal to should be 8 okay then we can write i max is less than or equal to 2 and i minimum is greater than or equal to 0 0.2 this is the transmission ratio tr for our transmission the uh, transmission ratio of all transmission uh, rpm value of the gearbox shaft how to calculate that uh, actually say i is greater than 1 and i is less than 1 there is a some value is given i is equal to 1 no speed change because of there is a constant value you will get constant value you will get but left to uh, when you travel left to right side in upward direction check that uh, the value i is greater than 1 the speed is increases okay we are going upward direction and when you going the downward direction then you will get the i is less than 1 means speed is reduction you will get the speed reduction in vertical line n plus 2 and horizontal line horizontal line is equal to z okay nz is greater than nem and hl is equal to z plus 1 nz is less than nem okay uh, remember that in ray diagram speed diagram or gearing diagram this is important thing a ray diagram means what ray diagram is a representation of the structural formula it provides information such as speed in each stage each stage you will get the information with the help of that uh, structural formula okay the transmission ratio in each stage the total number of speeds uh, speed and its value yesterday we have seen the ray diagram i have explained what is the difference between the structural diagram ray diagram and speed diagram okay drawing a ray chart how to draw this vertical line again check that n plus 2 n plus 2 is there vertical lines n plus 2 the structure diagram n plus 1 is there horizontal lines hl is equal to z and hl is equal to sometimes z plus 1 uh, in that condition which condition z is greater than nem and nz is less than nem then you should write draw the uh, hl is equal to z plus 1 okay sometimes the motor speed is given maximum than total number of speed steps total number of speed steps at that time you have to calculate the uh, draw the again above one more line that z is equal to uh, sorry horizontal line is equal to z plus 1 ray uh, depicting transmission between the last shaft and preceding shaft the ray are drawn the lowest rpm in the shaft see ray diagram z is equal to 4 4 speed gearbox okay structural formula 2 1 2 2 okay there is the stages n is equal to 2 then we know the how to draw the structure diagram then see assuming the data n1 is equal to 400 n minimum nz is equal to 1097.6 n max and nem is equal to 1097.6 means both value are same okay nz value and n em electric motor speed both value are same then see the spindle speed we have calculated the different spindle speed 400 to n4 1097.6 you can write here n1 n2 n3 n4 okay for this you have to calculate uh, draw the ray diagram here we are drawn n plus 2 means 4 lines n plus 2 vertical check that 1 2 3 4 4 is there vertical lines horizontal lines z is equal to 4 again because speed are same nem speed are same that's why we are uh, no need to draw extra horizontal line and nem is equal to nz okay in the ray diagram and speed diagram 
then see again uh, in the ray diagram uh, you should draw the kinematic diagram with the help of ray diagram how to draw the kinematic diagram yesterday we have seen that okay z is equal to 6 again see that how to use the condition n e m is greater than n z again same n 1 is equal to 160 n minimum n z is equal to 1000 n max n e m is equal to 1440 okay rn we can calculate this is the rn is a range ratio range ratio phi is equal to rn raised to 1 divided by z minus 1 with the help of that you can calculate the phi value then with the help of that you can calculate the different spindle speed n1 to uh, n1 to n5 up to the n6 okay n plus z is equal to 6 then up to the you can calculate the n6 okay vertical lines again n plus 2 4 lines horizontal lines z plus 1 is equal to 7 because n m uh, c n6 is equal to 1000 we have the n z is equal to again 1000 n max value 1000 but electric motor speed is given 1440 that's why we required the one more horizontal line extra horizontal lines you can check here how many horizontal lines we have the n6 six horizontal line plus one line we want to the show for the electric motor speed means this nem value is a 1440 if this value is less than 1000 then there is a no need to draw extra horizontal line extra horizontal line if the nem speed is greater than 1000 then you have to again one uh, draw the one more horizontal line remember that this is the important thing then again how to draw the gearing diagram with the help of that we have seen for the different speed this is the some conditions are given conditions are given okay then see there is a uh, some questions are given uh, in the university examination number of teeth and speed deviation diagram uh, write the best structural formula draw structural diagram ray diagram speed chart gearing diagram number of teeth speed deviation diagram what is the given spindle speed is equal to 100 to 1000 rpm means you have given the n1 is equal to 100 and n max okay or nz is equal to 1000 rpm motor speed is given 1440 okay means which value is given nem is given rpm speed series series is given r5 that is 5 uh, root of 10 you will get the phi value indirectly they have given the phi value as per the application of the multi-stage gearbox phi is equal to 1.58 okay then how to draw the ray diagram speed diagram and gearing diagram see speed is n1 n2 n3 n4 n5 n6 okay that speed we can calculate 100 then we will round up that figure okay that figure will round up okay we will take the next digit or uh, before digit 395 400 620 we have calculated n1 n2 n3 up to the n6 okay then you can draw the structural power uh, structural diagram you know how to draw the structural diagram number of total speed six then draw the six horizontal lines six horizontal lines okay there is a last value is a 1000 when you drawing the ray diagram then check that this one uh, 1400 is greater than 1000 that's why we required the again one more horizontal lines that's why how many horizontal lines are required uh, 7 6 plus 1 7 horizontal lines are required then you can write here the uh, spindle speed 100 160 250 400 uh, 630 1000 and uh, 1440 okay show there that uh, where is the electric motor speed okay also when you draw the ray diagram then you should add the one more shaft for the electric motor okay motor shaft draw the one more vertical line there are the three shaft input intermediate and output shaft plus motor shaft okay and then with the help of that you can draw the gearing diagram okay with the help of that you can draw the 
gearing diagram today we will stop here next lecture we will see the one details numerical how to solve with the help of given data thank you